Hello everyone, welcome to dnd the Multiverse, where we will be turning fictional characters from across the multiverse into playable characters for 5th edition DND. Today we will be dnd Rick Sanchez from Rick and Morty. For this build, we will be using the 5th edition player handbook, Xanathar's Guide to Everything, and the Eberron Rising from the Last War handbook. Let's start by allocating points to Rick's ability score. We will be using the standard point array 15, 14, 13, 12, 10 and 8. Let's start by allocating points to Rick's highest ability score before making our way down to his lowest ability score. Without a question, Rick's highest ability score will be intelligence. Rick is after all known as the smartest man in the universe. He invented the portal gun, a piece of technology that allows a person to enter dreams, built a small robot to pass him butter over breakfast, created an entire microverse to generate power for him, built a primitive combat suit out of materials in a forest, and fabricated an origin story to trick a Galactic Federation agent into uploading a virus that granted him full access of a machine that was trapping him inside his own body. Rick's second highest ability score will be Wisdom. It is without a doubt that Rick is a very wise individual, in a really non-conformist sort of way. Rick's third highest ability score will be Charisma. Rick is a very charismatic individual. He has managed to hoodwink and influence many people across the galaxy and the multiverse. Rick's fourth highest ability score will be Constitution. For a 70-year-old, Rick is a very durable individual. He has endured getting beaten up countless number of times throughout the series. Rick's second lowest ability score will be Dexterity. For a 70-year-old, Rick can run really fast. Rick can also react fast enough to dodge a crossbow bolt fire at close range, react fast enough to take down a Galactic Federation guard who ambushed him, and he could even evade a laser beam from a satellite. Rick's lowest ability score will be Strength. Now don't get me wrong, Rick is a really strong individual for someone who is 70. Rick could throw another Rick into another Rick with a single arm, kick off a fat man that was pinning him down, break a cybernetic snake in half and snap an enemy's neck before tossing the body. But for the purpose of this build, Strength will be his lowest score as the other ability scores take priority. For Rick's race, we will be going with the Varian Human option as it gives more customization options compared to the Baseline Human build. Remember to ask your DM whether you can use the Varian Human option instead of the Baseline option before building this build. Varian Humans get 1 point to any 2 ability scores of your choice, proficiency in 1 skill of your choice and a feat of your choice. We will be putting plus 1 ability score points in Intelligence and Constitution. For his skill proficiency, we are going to give him proficiency in perception. Rick is an extremely perceptive individual. He realized that he was in a simulation on two separate occasions. He is also aware of the fourth wall. For Rick's feat, we are going to give him the keen mind feat, as Rick is the smartest man in the universe. With the keen mind feat, Rick's intelligence ability score is increased again by plus one, and always knows which way is north, the number of hours left before the sunrise or sunset, and can accurately recall anything he has seen or heard within the past month. If the DM only allows you to use the baseline human build, then increase one point to each of your ability scores. Now let's get to Rick's background as Rick is an intergalactic and interdimensional terrorist, arms dealer and smuggler, we're going to give Rick the criminal background. With the criminal background, Rick is proficient with the deception and stealth skill. He is also proficient in one type of gaming set and thieves tools. Rick also gets a crowbar, a set of dark common clothes including a hood and a belt pouch containing 15 gold pieces. Rick also gains the criminal contact feature, giving him a reliable and trustworthy contact who acts as a liaison to a network of other criminals. Rick's class is going to be the Artificer class from the Everon Rising from the Last War playbook as it is the only class in Dungeons & Dragons that closely matches Rick's tinkering and building abilities seen in the show. As an Artificer, Rick has proficiency in light armor, medium armor, shields and simple weapons. We are also going to take the optional rule and make Rick proficient in firearms. As the smartest man in the universe, Rick would have no problem creating and using firearms in the D&D world. Remember to ask your DM whether you can take this proficiency before actually giving it to Rick. Rick is also proficient in the use of these tools, tinker tools, and one type of artisan's tools of our choice. Rick's saving throws are constitution and intelligence. We can also choose two skills from Arcana, history, investigation, medicine, nature, perception, and sleight of hand for Rick. We are going to choose Arcana as magic is practically science to an artificer and the investigation skill. At Artificer level 1, Rick gains access to the magical tinkering and spellcasting features. The magical tinkering feature allows Rick to use his tinker tools or artisan tools to invest a spark of magic into mundane objects, giving it a magical property of his choice. The list of magical properties can be found in the Artificer class section of the Abron Rising from the Last War playbook. The maximum number of objects that Rick can affect with this feature at one time is equal to his intelligence modifier. Exceeding the maximum number will result in the oldest object touched by this feature to lose its magical property. 
As an artificer, Rick produces his spell through his tools, much like how he needs his gadgets in the show to produce a desired effect. Rick must have a spell casting focus, specifically Thieves tools, or some kind of artisan tools in hand whenever he casts a spell. At artificer level 1, Rick knows 2 cantrips and can prepare a total of 3 spells. The total number of spells that Rick can prepare is equal to his intelligence modifier plus half his artificer level rounded down. At artificer level 1, Rick has 2 level 1 spell slots. For Rick's 2 cantrips, we are going to give him the Firebolt and Ray of Frost cantrip from the player's handbook. For Rick's 3 prepared spells, we are going to give him the level 1 spells Cure Wounds, False Life, and Featherfall from the player's handbook. Rick's spell save DC is 8 plus his proficiency bonus plus his intelligence modifier, and his spell attack modifier is his proficiency bonus plus his intelligence modifier. At Artificer level 2, Rick gains the Infuse Item feature. With the Infuse Item feature, Rick can imbue mundane items with certain magical infusions. The magic items Rick creates with this feature are effectively prototypes of permanent items. At Artificer level 2, Rick can pick 4 infusions to learn. We are going to let Rick learn the Enhanced Arcane Infusion, the Enhanced Defense Infusion, the Enhanced Weapon Infusion, and the Repeating Shot Infusion. To infuse an item, Rick must first finish a long rest before touching a non-magical object to imbue it with one of our artifacts artificer infusions turning it into a magic item. The maximum number of items Rick can infuse at artificer level 2 is 2. The total number of spells that Rick can prepare increases to 4. For Rick's additional prepared spell, we are going to give him the level 1 spell Expeditious Retreat from the player's handbook. At Artificer level 3, Rick gets one additional level 1 spell slot. We can also get to choose Rick's Artificer specialty at Artificer level 3. We have a choice between Alchemist, Artillerist, and Battlesmith. It was rather hard for me to choose an Artificer specialty for Rick, as all three options are suitable for him. Is Rick an expert at combining reagents to produce mystical scientific effects? Yes. Is Rick an expert at creating items to hurl energy projectiles and explosives? Yes. Is Rick an expert at defending others and repairing both material and personnel? Yes, though it is something that he rarely does unless it is in his interest. In the end, I decided to go with the artillery specialist as I think that specialty matches Rick's weapon creation and arms dealing background. As an artillerist, Rick gains proficiency with woodcarver tools. Rick also learns certain artillery spells after he reaches a particular level in the Artificer class. These spells count as Artificer spells to Rick, but they do not count against the number of Artificer spells he prepares. At level 3, Rick learns the Shield and Thunder Wave spell. As an artillerist, Rick also learns how to create a magical cannon. Using woodcarvers or smith tools, Rick can take an action to magically create a small or tiny eldritch cannon. There are three types of eldritch cannons Rick can create. Flamethrower, Force Ballista, or Protector. Rick also gains the right tool for the right job feature at Artificer level 3, allowing him to produce exactly the tool he needs. At Artificer level 4, we can give Rick an ability score improvement. We have two ability points to use, we are going to put both ability points into Intelligence, bringing Rick's Intelligence score to 18, increasing his Intelligence Ability Score modifier to plus 4. The total number of spells that Rick can prepare is also increased to 6. For Rick's additional prepared spell, we are going to give him the level 1 spell Detect Magic and Identify from the player's handbook. At Artificer level 5, Rick's proficiency bonus is increased from plus 2 to plus 3. He also gains an additional level 1 spell slot and gains access to his 2 level 2 spell slots. At Artificer level 5, Rick also gains the Arcane Firearm feature. Rick knows how to turn his wand, staff or rod into an Arcane Firearm. When he casts an Artificer spell through the Firearm, Rick must roll a d8 and he gains a bonus to one of the spell damage rolls equal to the number rolled. At Artificer level 5, the damage done by Rick's Fireball and Ray of Frost cantrip is improved. Rick also learns two more artillery spells at Artificer level 5. He learns the Scorching Ray and Shatter spell. At Artificer level 6, Rick knows two more infusions and can infuse one more item. For Rick's two new infusions, we are going to give Rick the Homunculus Servant and Repulsion Shield infusion. Homunculus Servant allows Rick to create a special homunculus to serve him. I imagine this homunculus to be a robotic version of Morty, as Rick has created robotic versions of Morty before. Rick also gains the Tool Expertise feature at Artificer level 6. The Tool Expertise feature doubles Rick's proficiency bonus for any ability check he makes that uses his proficiency with a tool. The number of spells that Rick can prepare is also increased to 7. For Rick's additional spell prepared, we are going to give him the level 2 spell Enlarge Reduce from the player's handbook. 
At Artificer level 7, Rick gains one additional level 2 spell slot and gains the Flash of Genius feature. The Flash of Genius feature gives Rick the ability to come up with solutions under pressure, something we see Rick do countless number of times in the show. When Rick or another creature he can see within 30 feet makes an ability check or saving throw, Rick can use his reaction to add his intelligence modifier to that roll. Rick can use this feature a number of times equal to his intelligence modifier. Rick regains all expended users when he finishes a long rest. At Artificer level 8, we can give Rick an ability score improvement. We have two ability points to use. We are going to put both ability points into intelligence, bringing Rick's intelligence score to 19. The total number of spells that Rick can prepare is increased to 8. For Rick's additional prepared spell, we are going to give him the level 2 spell enhanced ability from the player's handbook. At Artificer level 9, Rick's proficiency bonus is increased from plus 3 to plus 4 and he gains access to his level 3 spell slots. Rick also gains the Explosive Cannon feature at Artificer level 9. With the Explosive Cannon feature, every Eldritch Cannon Rick creates is more destructive and he can command a cannon to detonate if he is within 60 feet of it. Rick also learns two more Artillery spell at Artificer level 9, Rick learns the Fireball and Wind Wall spell. At Artificer level 10, Rick knows two more infusions and can infuse one more item. For Rick's two new infusions, we are going to give him Boots of the Winding Path and Resistant Armor. At Artificer level 10, Rick's Enhanced Arcane Focus, Enhanced Defense and Enhanced Weapon infusions are improved. Rick also learns a new cantrip at Artificer level 10. For Rick's new cantrip, we are going to give him the Mending Cantrip as that cantrip will be most useful for repairing any damage sustained by the Eldritch Cannon or the Homunculus. The total number of spells that Rick can prepare is increased to 9. For Rick's additional prepared spell we are going to give him the level 3 spell dispel magic from the player's handbook. Rick also gains the magic item adapt feature at artificer level 10. With the magic item adapt feature Rick can attune up to 4 magic items at once and if he can craft a magic item with a rarity of common or uncommon it takes Rick a quarter of the normal time and it costs half as much of the usual goal. At Artificer level 11, Rick gains one additional level 3 spell slot. Rick also learns the spell storing item feature. With the spell storing item feature, Rick learns how to store a first or second level spell from the Artificer spell list in an object. The spell stays in the object until it has been used a number of times equals to twice Rick's intelligent modifier or until Rick uses this feature again to store another spell in another object. At Artificer level 11, the damage of Rick's Fireball and Ray of Frost Cantrip is further improved. At Artificer level 12, we can give Rick an ability score improvement. We have two ability points to use, we are going to put both ability points into Intelligence, bringing Rick's intelligence score to the maximum of 20, increasing his intelligence ability modifier to plus 5. The total number of spells that Rick can prepare is also increased to 11. For Rick's additional prepared spells, we are going to give him the level 3 spells Protection from Energy and Revive 5 from the player's handbook. At Artificer level 13, Rick's proficiency bonus is increased from plus 4 to plus 5. Rick also gains access to his level 4 spell slot. Rick also learns two more artillery spells at Artificer level 13. He learns the Ice Storm and Wall of Fire spell. At Artificer level 14, Rick knows two more infusions and can infuse one more item. For Rick's two new infusions, we are going to give him the Replicate Magic item and Returning Weapon infusion. Rick also learns a new cantrip at Artificer level 14. We are going to give him the Shocking Grasp cantrip from the player's handbook. The total the number of spells that Rick can prepare is also increased to 12. For Rick's additional prepared spell, we are going to give him the level 3 spell Create Food and Water from the player's handbook. Rick also gains the Magic Item Savant feature at Artificer level 14. The Magic Item Savant feature allows Rick to attune up to 5 magic items at once and Rick ignores all class, race, spell and level requirements on attuning or using a magic item. At Artificer level 15, Rick gains one more level 4 spell slot. Rick also gains the Fortified Position feature. With the Fortified Position feature, Rick and his allies have half cover while within 10 feet of an Eldritch Cannon Rick created. In addition to that, Rick can now construct two Eldritch Cannons at the same time. At Artificer level 16, we can give Rick an Ability Score improvement. We have two Ability Points to use, we are going to put both Ability Points into Constitution, bringing Rick's Constitution Score to 14, increasing his Constitution Ability Score modifier from plus 1 to plus 2. The total number of spells that Rick can prepare is also increased to 13. For Rick's additional prepared spell, we are going to give him the level 4 spell Elemental Bane from Xanthar's Guide to Everything. At Artificer level 17, Rick's proficiency bonus is increased from plus 5 to plus 6. Rick also gains one additional level 4 spell slot and gains access to his level 5 spell slot. At Artificer level 17, the damage done by Rick's Firebolt, Ray of Frost and Shocking Grass cantrips are improved. Rick also learns two more artillery spells at Artificer level 17. Rick learns the Cone of Coal and Wall of Force spells. At Artificer level 18, Rick knows two more infusions and can infuse one more item. For Rick's two new infusions, we are going to give him the Radiant Weapon and Replicate 
magic item infusion. The total number of spells that Rick can prepare is also increased to 14. For Rick's additional prepared spell, we are going to give him the level 4 spell Fabricate from the player's handbook. At Artificer level 19, Rick gains another level 5 spell slot. We can also give Rick an ability score improvement at Artificer level 19. We have two ability points to use, we are going to put both ability points into Strength, bringing Rick's Strength score to 10, increasing his Strength ability score modifier from minus 1 to 0. At Artificer level 20, Rick gains the Soul of the Artifice feature. With the Soul of the Artifice feature, Rick gains a plus 1 bonus to all saving throws per magic item he currently has attuned to. And if his HP is reduced to 0 but he is not killed outright, he can and use his reaction to end one of his artificer infusions, causing him to drop to one hit point instead of zero. The total number of spells that Rick can prepare is also increased to 15. For Rick's additional prepared spell, we are going to give him the level 4 spell Warren Kynan's Private Sanctum from the player's handbook. We have reached level 20 and the end of this build, so let me know in the comment section below what you think about my D&D build of Rick Sanchez. And if you like this video, please hit that like button below, and if you want to see more videos like this in the future, hit that subscribe button below as well. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see all of you next time.